photos of my day to a tap chat, which is a resellers group, but um, just my day out and that. That's where most of my subscribers come from. So I thought, oh, why not? Oh, here we are, the railway edge. Eighteen forty-six, eighteen fourteen. Uh, Q Road. Ah. Richmond, the Union Workhouse over here. The old map of it, very old map. Touch wood. <laughs> I think that's a printing press, you know. Work and life. Yeah, it's basically like South London, so we like pretty much what London had, we had in Richmond, what it had in Richmond. Yeah, very interesting. The Violinda book. Bombing map of Richmond. Ah, I see, Second World War. Map of Richmond surrounding an area. Any bombs that drops, Second World War. Ah, okay. Because of the Second World War, they dropped bombs throughout the Britain. Um, V1, V2 rockets, that sort of thing. And there's the red dots to aim where bombs were dropped. Different types of ones, incendiaries or bombs or whatever else. Ah. It looks like there was quite a few drops in Richmond. There was quite a few drops in Chesington, Kingston, and that sort of thing. Because your house, uh, house living had a bomb dropped physically, physically right next to it. <sighs> and the Spitfires, which obviously saved our bacon in the Battle of Britain. in Richmond Rowing Club. Eighteen seventy five, two thousand and twenty fifth anniversary. Charlie Chaplin there. <laughs> ah, cool, cool. What got around here? This is like the Second World War, I think. Yeah, Second World War.
Ah, First World War and Second World War. I should, should say because that's tanks from the First World War. All the different medals people had won um, who lived in Richmond. Very interesting actually. I, lo I love the history side of things. It's, it's my favourite like World Wars. Remembrance of the old boys of Kent Road, Woodsdale Day School, uh, 14, oh, First World War, people who died in the um, First World War, it's Great War, there's quite a few. Then Second World War, 39 to 45, how it affected Richmond area, with the bombing raids and that sort of thing. I'm just going to put these headphones down below and have a listen to this when it comes up about different ones because you press these buttons here and you go to different ones, it's National Lottery funded, this one. So I'll see you in a bit. This was very interesting about people of the First World War, different types of um, what they fought and what they did in the First World War. Put on these headphones, press the buttons to wait which one, when one ended, press another button. Here we have a wooden walking frame 1916. Um, nurse's apron and nurse's cape. Ah, oh, nice singer. They're, they're quite desirable these days, the singers. The switchboard, 1970. Oh, blimey. It's quite a lot of you know, switchboard to the old uh, phones and switch different ones to who, like seeing programs like Dad's Army and that sort of thing. This is 20th century development. What happened in the 20th century? 1965, Borough Richmond. Yeah. This, this picture here is well, that's just that's a sound machine, which is 1910. One of we've got a home is 1940 odd, something like that. The Thames watercolour by F. Bowers, 1900. That was the Museum of Richmond, just a, a small museum and some bits and pieces and that. So, what I'll do, I'll speak to you next bit. Here is the Richmond Pontem's Visit Richmond Guide, which tells you about what's on in Richmond, what, what can you expect to see and, and do, different types of things. So I'll pick one of these up and have a read through, um, read through it. This is when the old town hall and the library, tool studies, Museum of Richmond and the Riverside Gallery are open. I'll also leave a link below to the um, museum itself.
that was the Museum of Richmond, a very great place. It's, it's very small, but it's um, worth going to, very friendly staff. You can film and that sort of thing, so it's worth checking out. So I'll leave a link below to, to the museum. So what I do now, I'll pop over and see the uh, War Memorial. Whew, it's getting hot now. I, I, I don't know what it is, it's quarter to 12. It's getting like 15, 16 degrees or more. So I'll see you in a bit. This is the memorial for people who died in 1914-18. And then the other side will be 1939 to 1945. Um, Private Walter Rayfield, um, 1918 Expeditionary Force. You can see that. 1914-18, 39-45, memory. We've got to conserve their memory. There's a few people who died there. It's good they've got this memorial here. Now if you go down these little stairs here, you'll see the roofs laid. The people who died in um, Second World War and First World War as well, the, the poppies laid. I did one of these in Hitchin, which is North London, a proper like Java North London. Um, one of these in Hitchin, these memorials. Uh, remembrance of the, you can see that it's quite bright. The men. In old old Barry fought service country Great War 1418 to 3945. I've got one of these in Chesington, Kingston. Obviously, I've done that before. J just a few of them here. Always nice to see this as well. Um, remember them by done a service to the country. A really, really, really good service to the country. Okay. At the moment, I'm just sitting here having a, a, a sandwich whilst I look on uh, at the river side. So I'll turn you around and have a look on the side by the little river here just heading this way towards Richmond Park uh, you gotta go past the um, bridge here all different types of restaurants over here and all the boats, trips you can see is and obviously the River Thames and that on this lovely day it's about Almost 12 o'clock, lunchtime. So people are eating out and that sort of thing, which I will be doing soon, but got you obviously your ice cream to right at the front. Kingston Riverside, Duck Pond Markets. Every Saturday. Foodies, markets, 10 a.m. Oh, a market. Oh, okay, cool. Have a look at it. As you can see, the market full of different types of foods. Cinnamon, Australia, Canon and Canon, Great British meats. Yeah. You've got to have your German foods. Olives, wines, fresh fruit and that sort of thing. Ah, cool. Juices, detox. Not too bad, really. On this glorious day. Here we have more of the River Thames, where we came down earlier on by the boat from Turk to Daunches in Kingston, up on Thames. A lot of people about having food and things. This is where I want to be. Campbell Path. Go down here. 
Um, uh, the little park area. Where I've been before. Not a bad little area down here. Quite peaceful, as you can, well, a lot of people are here, but it's peaceful as such. Not the hustle and bustle of big life. Right here, we go up here, up and then up to here. It's quite far to get to Brisbane Park because it's basically here. Brisbane Landing Stage, you can see that. So let's keep walking this way, then it's okay because I came down here before. Here we are in Terence Gardens. Um, in Richmond, upon Thames, one of the many parks in Richmond. As you can see, all the beautiful flowers that are out at the moment. Making my way up to Richmond Park, as you can see over there by the Thames. Not too bad really, some pink and purple and white flower, or a white flower. <laughs> oh. Not too far now from Richmond Park. Um, different type of buildings over there. Let's go this way around. The sun is beating down. It's about 20, 25 degrees, something like that, around about. Okay, keep going this way, around. I see the boat that comes from Kingston that we're on. Rosie York. Oh, cool. Country pub with rooms. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Hmm. Oh, no, I need to get to the park. Richmond Park, though. I need to get there. I'm tempted, though, to, to, to go in there for a pint. I'm tempted. <laughs> I don't know, don't know, though. Nah, I'll, I'll wait. Oh, nice little country road around here. Even though it's like Richmond Pond Thames, it's, it's in London, you've got like a lot of greenery around. We're not far from um, Richmond Park, so Razor York is over there. I might go for a drink. So it's just around there, somewhere around there, I believe. I'll cross the road here, I'm going to go to Rose of York for a pint, a bite to eat, probably. I like to do things differently myself. A lot differently, not just the usual ro roads and routes and all that round here. So, Sunday roads for Carvery, da da da. Beer garden with riverside views. The roads of York, country pub with rooms. Additional pub food, ah, why not? Perfect Mundo. Perfect Mundo. I've stopped off at the Rosa York for an Indian pale ale. It's only half, so um, yeah. Just thought I'd refresh myself before I go to the 
um, Richmond Park, which is not far by, it's like really near. So, yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. I'm not far now from Richmond Park, so probably going to have five minutes before I get there, something like that. It, it won't take long. I just went around the long, long way because about five or six different ways you can go to Richmond Park. Um, but I'd like to take you around the other ways, that sort of thing. So I'll see you when I get in there. At last, I've made it to Richmond Park. It took bloody long enough. Whew. Welcome to Richmond Park National Nature Reserve, Richmond Gate. There's like four or five, six, I say, four or five, six different areas um, and gates to go through. Lots of different paths you can take, you go down there or different places. So I'll do it soon a bit.